Okay, welcome back to the Everop Kitchens. I'm Nigel Howarth, and today is about looking at trying to cook simple ingredients well and with confidence. So today we've got two salmon steaks in front of us here. They're organic salmon steaks, and we're going to do a, a little bit of summer vegetables with it. But more importantly, we are going to make a hollandaise sauce. Now, hollandaise sauce, you probably say, oh, tricky. So we've got three egg yolks and we've got 250 grams of melted butter over there. And I'm going to show you how to make it direct. Um, we've got an induction hob here on our Heverot stove. So I can pop the three egg yolks directly into the pan and not into a bowl over boiling water. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of white wine about 15 to 20 ml of white wine and a little squeeze of lemon juice. And then just mix that together. I'm going to try and show you how to make a sabion. Now, you need to move the pan, so don't leave it static, but basically, if I've got my calculations right, should cook my egg yolk sufficiently to make it thick enough to add our melted butter. And you don't have all the steam, etc., etc. But you can see I'm directly beating the egg yolk on the hob. We're thickening now. It's now nice and thick, as you can see. And once we get it to that thickness, which is sort of like a ribbon thickness, then we can add our butter in. So, we've got some melted butter here. And a small amount at a time. Just add the butter into the thickened yolk, which is a sabion. Do do this gently and make sure you've warmed your butter a little bit before. If your butter's too hot, it can split the hollandaise. And if it's too cold, it will definitely split the hollandaise. And just you can just see gently, you don't have to whisk like mad, you can see gently that it's incorporating into the egg yolk and forming what is a lovely light sauce for our salmon. So it is, it is nice to get your, your hollandaise sauce, get it done before you start to cook your fish, get it out of the way, and then you can cook your fish and serve it straight away. One thing you don't want to do with your fish is overcook it. And the last bit of butter there, just going in. And we'll just try it. Obviously needs a bit of seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit more lemon juice in. And then just keep your sauce to one side. Okay, I've got the pan on number eight. And we'll put our, it's a mixture of olive oil and sunflower oil. I'm going to season with a little bit of molden sea salt on the skin side, like so. And just pop the fish down away from me. And make sure the fish is dry. If, you, if the fish is very wet, then one of the things that's obviously going to happen is it's going to spit. So we're going to seal this now quickly, skin side. Seal it on the other side, then put it back on the skin side and in our oven for about three minutes. Whilst it's in the oven, we'll get our vegetables ready. Don't mess about with it. Don't keep moving the pan. Once you move the pan, you take away the heat. And the last, the last thing you want to do with fish, because once you take away, it can stew in the pan and then it sticks and it gets all messy. I'm just going to turn the fish over and seal it on that side and turn it back. And, and then back again. Okay, so we're going to pop the 
fish in the oven. Like so. Okay, and while the fish is in the oven, it gives us time now to get our vegetables ready. I've got a pan there, I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of, of butter. Our vegetables, we've got some spinach, we've got peas and broad beans, we've got some smidgy mushrooms, a little bit of courgette, and some vine tomato. I'm gonna to put our little, a few mushrooms in there. Courgettes. And these just literally will take seconds to warm through. Okay, need a little bit of salt, and I'm using a Maurice just to gently bring the vegetables together. You don't want to overcook these vegetables. And I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of water in. And I'm just popping the tomato in. And a little bit of our olive oil. Okay, so away from the stove, I've got some tarragon here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tarragon in there. We now need to just pop our vegetables onto the plate, like so. How simple is that? And have a look at our salmon. Turn our salmon over. And then I need to take it out of the pan and just allow it to rest. And you can see how beautiful and crispy and golden the salmon is. Okay. And really, we need to allow that salmon just to let it rest for a minute. So we're going to get the salmon popping on like so. And then just run the hollandaise sauce. Thanks. And very simply, there's our salmon steak with hollandaise sauce and summer's vegetables. Enjoy. <laughs>